In this video, we can learn what is a graph, tree, code tree, twigs, and links. So first of all, we can learn how to draw a graph from this network. So for drawing a graph, first of all, you need to know the number of nodes. So what do you mean by nodes? Nodes means it is a point at which two or more elements are connected. See, now this is a node. Two or more than two elements are connected, then we will say that this is our node 1. Then at this point, again, another element is connecting. Then we will say this is also a node 2. So node means at a point at which two or more elements are connected. So from this figure, we need to find the number of nodes. Okay. So at this point, three elements are connected. Current source, resistor, resistor. So this is our node 1. I am going to name it as 1. Now at this point, resistor, resistor and a resistor is connected. So this is our node 2. Okay. Now is there any other nodes? One more node is there, that is our ground node. That means all these four elements are connected. See, one, two, three, and four. All four elements are connected at this point. So this is our ground node, a common node that I am going to number it as three. So for this circuit, there are three nodes. Now we are going to draw the graph. So for drawing graph, first of all, we can plot the nodes. So this is our node one, then node two, then the ground node or the common node, node three. So we have three nodes. Now, the element connected between nodes are called as branches. Okay. So now between one and two, there is a branch resistor. So we will draw a straight line. Okay. Now between one and three, there is a resistor R1. So we will draw a straight line. Here it is R2. Here it is R1. Now between two and three, this is three. Okay. All this bottom part is not three, common ground point. So between 2 and 3, there is a resistor and a voltage source. Okay, resistor, we will draw a straight line. Okay, and voltage source, if voltage source is present in between the circuit, then we will short circuit it. So we will short circuit it. So between 2 and 3, we have a resistor, we will draw a straight line. Then we have a voltage source, what we will do, we will short circuit. So 2 and 3 is over. Now again, in between 2 and 3, there is one more resistor R4. So this is R3. Now between 2 and 3, between 2 and 3, there is one more resistor R4. Now, between 1 and 3, there is a current source. So, between 1 and 3, there is a current source. But, if current source is present in a circuit, then we will open circuit it. So, here it will be an open circuit. So, we will eliminate this branch. Now, there are four types of graph. Directed, undirected, planar and non-planar. Directed means if there is direction between the nodes. So between 1 and 2, if I am going to mark a direction, then it is called as a directed graph. If there are no direction in the graph, this is a graph. But if there are no directions, then it is called as undirected graph. If there are directions between or in the branches, then we will say it as a directed graph. Now what is planar graph? If there are no overlaps, it is called as planar graph. If there is an overlap, see, a branch is overlapping like this. Or some kind of branches are coming like this. So if there is an overlap, then we will say it is a non-planar graph. Now, what is a tree? Tree is also a graph. See, this is a graph. Tree is also a graph, but in that graph, there will not be any closed loop. See, now we can see 1, 2, 3. It is forming a closed loop. 2 and 3. It is forming a closed loop. But in tree, there will not be any closed loop. And tree will have the same number of nodes. 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to write 1, 2 and 3. So tree will have the same number of nodes. And all nodes will be connected, but it will not form a closed loop. So I'm going to connect 1 and 2, then 2 and 3. 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. See, now all nodes are connected, but it is not forming a closed loop. Now again, I'm going to write 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to draw like this. 1, 3 and 2. 1, 3 and 2. See, now all nodes are connected, but it is not forming a closed loop. Again, 1, 2 and 3. I'm going to connect like this. 1 and 2, then like this. Okay. So 1 and 2, then after 2, I'm going like this. 1, 2, the node coming here, I am going like this. So this is also a tree. Then again, 1, 2 and 3. How can I draw? I will draw like this. See, 1 and 3, then 3 and 2. 1 and 3, then 3 and 2. So all nodes are connected, but it is not forming a closed loop. If 2 and 1 is connected, then it will form a closed loop. Okay. So is there any more possibility? One more possibility is there. 1, 2 and 3, I will draw like this I draw, like this I draw, then I am going to draw like this. 2, 1 and 3. 2, 1 and 3. See, this many trees I can form from this graph. So in a tree, all nodes will be connected. It will have the same number of nodes as in graph. And all nodes will be connected. 
but it will not form a closed loop okay so now i have a question how many trees we can form from a graph in order to find that we need to know what is incidence matrix so when we discuss about incidence metric we will learn how to find the number of trees from a graph so for a tree if graph have n nodes then tree will also have n nodes so number of nodes will be equal to n now what is the number of branches so branches of a tree branches means see one and two in between one and two there is a branch between two and three there is a branch so how to calculate the number of branches branches means n minus one if there are n nodes then there will be n minus one branches so for this question there are three nodes one two three so three nodes are there so what is the number of branches in a tree n minus one that is three minus one that is two see for this tree there are three nodes so n equal to three the number of branches is three minus one that is two one two two branches are there now these branches of a tree are called as twigs the name name of branches of a tree are called as twigs now we are going to discuss what is a core tree okay so from graph we draw tree how we draw tree by connecting all nodes all nodes are one two and three so we connected all nodes but it should not form a closed loop okay so we took this branch and this branch but we eliminated these two branches okay so we eliminated these two branches i'm going to draw that branches in dotted line so these branches are called as links so a graph with links are called as coterie so for this tree which all branches we eliminated this branch and this branch so we eliminated this branch and this branch so these are the links of this tree now for this tree we eliminated we took this one and this one so we eliminated this one and this one so that i am representing dotted line so these are the links of this tree now for this tree we eliminated this branch and this branch so we eliminated this branch and this branch so these are the links of this core tree now for the final tree we eliminated this branch and this branch so these are the links of this tree now if a tree have n nodes and n minus 1 branches how to calculate the number of links how to calculate that so for this graph how many branches are there total number of branches i'm denoting with the letter tb total number of branches 1 2 3 and 4 four branches are there now i'm coming to tree how many branches are there one two so branches of tree are called as twigs so i'm denoting with letter small letter t twigs are two now core tree in core tree the branches are called as links so how many links are there two so core tree plus tree will give the graph so core tree the branch is link so link plus twig will give the total number of branch so here link it is two number of branches of tree that is twig it is two so two plus two it is going to give four now from this how to calculate link link is equal to total number of branch minus branches of tree that is twigs so we can write total number of branch i am denoting with letter b total number of branch minus twigs twigs means number of branches of tree number of branches of tree is called as twigs so i am denoting with small letter t but we know that t this t twigs is n minus 1 so we will write n minus 1 here branches of tree is called as twigs okay so branches and twigs are same branches of a tree are called as twigs and we know the equation for twigs it is n minus 1 so here i am substituting instead of twig i am writing n minus 1 then i will get b minus n then opening this bracket minus n minus it will become plus so b minus n plus 1 that is the equation to find number of links of a graph so when you get a network first of all we will draw graph of that network from graph we will draw tree so tree is also a graph it is a subgraph with no closed loop from tree we will draw core tree okay now in graph we have branches i am denoting with letter b in tree the branches are named as twigs in core tree the name of branch it is links okay if graph have n nodes tree will also have n nodes now how to find the number of twigs in a tree we will do if there are n nodes then n minus 1 twigs will be there and how to find links we know number of links plus number of twigs will be equal to total branch so for getting links links equal to total branch minus number of twigs total branch it is b the number of twigs it is n minus 1 so n minus 1 we should put a bracket because instead of t we are substituting n minus 1 okay so when we open bracket we will get b minus n plus 1 so this is the number of links in the next video we can learn about incidence matrix